Let me just say this. Your camera is... battery is about to die. Now we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. It's been raining over the past couple days, so we haven't been able to get a whole lot done on the property. However, this has allowed us to put our power set up to the test, and while it's held up really nicely, we want to make improvements now that we live here full time. If you haven't noticed, we've taken a slight pause on the inside of our house. Don't worry, we will get back to all of the container house goodness, but right now we need to focus on the outside of our homestead before winter comes. Our solar panels are pretty heavy duty and we haven't had any issues, but we need to get them off the ground and on some sort of mound. We found the perfect spot on the property, but there's a few trees and a whole lot of land that needs to be cleared. So that's pretty much what we've been working on. We've got one tree down last night, but we're going to have to use the Jeep for the second. The second tree that needs to be taken down is this one right here. We still have this last tree to cut down right here, but it's actually leaning towards the house a little bit. So what we're gonna do is use the winch line from the Jeep running to the stump right here. We're gonna run the winch line from the Jeep to the snatch block right here, and then it's gonna loop through the snatch block and go up to the tree right there. So that way we can put tension on the tree to make it fall this way. Look who's watching us. So we have our tree strap or tree saver wrapped around our tree, connected to our winch line with a D-ring shackle. This kind of gives you a better idea of the area that we're trying to clear for animals and solar panels, but mostly solar panels. And then that is the tree that he's currently trying to take down. I think I need to hold the brake. I have to do something I don't want to do, so I have to get the tripod set up. So I'm worried that the winch isn't going to be fast enough whenever I start cutting the tree to be able to pull in fast enough to make the tree go the way we want it to. So Summer's going to hop in the Jeep, throw it in reverse, and as I cut, she's just going to keep tension on the tree 
with the Jeep going in reverse. That way, once it starts falling, she can roll backwards faster and be able to make the tree fall. If you're wondering if it fell on the house, it did not, safe. You can even see the board is still up. But she definitely had me concerned there for a second. Yeah, but luckily that's the last tree that was somewhat leaning towards the house. So if any other tree ever happens to fall or if we ever have to cut any other tree down, at least no other trees are leaning towards the house. So we don't have to worry about a tree ever falling on the house. That whole experience was terrifying to say the least, but let's make some dinner. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, we're ordering Domino's. Owls are going crazy tonight. Mm -hmm. Last thing we do before bed is water the plants. Well, if the water makes it in. The leaf got in the way. Some new growth this morning. For reference, since it was dark, here's the tree we cut down last night. So here's how close it got to the house. What's up? Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not last night. Yeah, it's still the morning. Okay. Good morning. So. We got Starlink. We're so excited about it. Uh, we've literally just been using our cell phone booster and hotspot to be able to have internet out here, and it sucks. Yeah. It works, but it sucks. We can't upload any videos. Let me just say this. Our it camera is... battery's about to die. Hi, we're back. Okay, so our cell phone booster, it works um, in terms of we had no service in the container before. We couldn't even make a phone call, and it couldn't even get a text out. If I wanted to do anything at all, I had to go up to the top of the hill. Um, yeah, if the booster's not plugged in, we pretty much have one bar, if not no bars, yeah. in, in the house. So. so it's definitely helped a lot in the transitioning period, but I still had to go to his mom's to upload or to the library. Yeah, as far as large amounts of data, like streaming or being able to upload YouTube videos and stuff like that, it just doesn't really work for yeah. how far away we are from the, the cell phone tower. And we didn't have Wi-Fi, so I used my cell phone hotspot for literally everything, for the TV, for everything. So, this is going to be a lot better. <laughs> yeah. We're excited for all the possibilities of being able to have, like, I just ordered a remote temperature sensor for the house so we can make sure it doesn't overheat when we're not home and the dogs will be okay. We can finally we, have yeah, cameras. We'll be able to have Wi-Fi cameras and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff, not have to pay for... Uh, trail cams anymore for yeah. the subscription and all that so, mm -hmm. so it'll there's be nice. a whole ton of possibilities I will say we've already tested it out a little bit and it works really far so um we're, we're just really excited about it summer made me put it all back in the box I so did. we can unbox it and show y'all well, he was so excited to play with it and I figured y'all would want to see it unbox so yeah I made him <laughs> So a super simple setup. And then you have your satellite dish, the mount, and then you have your cords and then your modem. Now we go find a clear spot on the roof 
and then set it down and plug it in. We want to make sure we have it facing north, but it will uh, turn and adjust itself. Right now, just like the cell phone booster, we have the cord running through the window. It will be permanently installed, but we need internet like right now. So that's a project for another day. Yeah, once we know the exact best spot for it, and uh, as far as position goes and where we get the best signal, then we'll uh, probably put the dish up on a pole and we'll permanently install or run the cord through a conduit in the wall. That way it's not, you know, just sitting out and exposed like this, but we actually have a spot in our closet that's already set up to be able to accommodate both of these. So that's most likely where we'll install them at. We installed a plug in the ceiling and then we will put the controls right here. Now that it's in a new position, we just got to give it a couple minutes to search for a couple satellites and then we should be good to go. All right, now it's online. I did notice a couple times that it likes to, whenever we first plugged it in, it kind of likes to cut in and out. So it'll say online and then it'll go back to searching and offline and then come back online again. Um, I think it's just because it being in a new position that has to kind of search around and learn where it can get signal and where it has obstructions and stuff like that. So it's constantly moving itself to find the best signal. This is my theory. Um, so whenever we first plugged it in, we had issues with it cutting it in, in and out, but after probably an hour or two, I'd say, um, it stayed pretty consistent. And then within the next day, it told us, uh, expect interruptions every like 45 seconds or something like that. So about every 45 seconds, it would cut off for a second and then come right back on. And like I said, I assume it's just because all of our obstructions with the trees and whatnot in the way. So once we get it higher up on a pole, we shouldn't have that issue anymore. The uh, app will show you where your obstructions are that I can see. So like we had a little map of some tree branches kind of like around the edges and stuff where it, it could tell that there was an obstruction right there. But since we unplugged it and plugged it back in and moved position, it has to recalculate all that again. So it says it takes about 12 hours. So I guess we'll show you all an update later once it updates itself. Okay, so I haven't tested this function yet, so I wanted to see if it would work. The air conditioner has Wi-Fi built into it, so I turned the Wi-Fi off on my phone so I could see if like, it would go through cell service and then back to the house and turn it on, and it does. We are just sitting down in the AC, relaxing, and I think we're going to go spend the day at the lake, but just a little bit of a recap. <laughs> we cut down a ton of trees and nothing goes wasted. All the wood's either going to go over to the sawmill or it's going to be used for firewood. Yes, white oak is really good um, for building, so we'll either be building a deck with it or building a dock with it or building furniture. Which brings me to my next subject. Um, I think in the distant future, not anytime soon, but in the distant future, I want to start some sort of like Etsy shop. Cody enjoys woodworking and we have the sawmill, so um, we will eventually build a lot of our furniture in the house when we start tackling the interior and things like that for instance our bed frame we'll be building our bed frame so once we're able to get a place to dry out wood um in the distant future i think i might start like a little etsy shop of all of his like woodworking projects and then also sell um like oak trees and we have a lot of little oak trees that are coming up and a lot of little like blackberry bushes and things like that yeah, so white oak trees pop up like uh, weeds around here it's crazy yeah so i think i'm going to start an etsy shop and sell some of those types of things but yeah that's pretty much it we will do an entire video on our solar mount and how we end up doing that he's still working on the plans for everything um this was mostly just about figuring out which trees needed to go and getting all of that cut up and then also installing our internet because without internet we can't be bringing videos all the time but yeah that's pretty much it we're gonna go change hop in the lake come home and work some more. So, bye. Bye.